All right. This uh, 96. All right. Well, I've had the thing pulled out of the airstream, but still in the tube for 15 minutes, and now it's reading 110. So, I think I'm going to put it back in and let it uh, run again and see what happens with it back in there again. It stays at 110, it goes down or up, I'm not sure, but let's find out. Alright, we're back again. It's all the way in the airstream. It's about 10 minutes later. It's 121 degrees now. So, this is extremely interesting data. I think I'm going to pull it back out again and check it. And we'll come back to it. See you in a minute. Okay, she was out of the airstream for another 10 minutes or so. And we have 112 degrees. So, it is cooling it down when I pull it out. And I guess uh, I'm going to have to try my little adapter that I'm going to give a shot to right here. I'm just going to extend it down into the airstream a little farther and see just what happens with that on there. Okay? We'll come back. Okay, here it is. We have it extended about halfway into the airstream. Uh, let's just give it a shot, see what happens. We'll be back. Alright guys, I got 127 off of it with that little tube on there. And the uh, water temperature is still 204. It's been running for, oh, 10, 15 minutes or so. We'll let it go a little longer and see uh, what it says after that. I'll be back. Okay, now we have 132. It's been about 10 more minutes. We might be on to something here. We'll leave her test a little more. All right. All right, guys. It's been about 15 minutes this time since the last check, and seems to be sitting at 134 and 204 for water temp, so we're all running the same there. So it looks like I actually can increase the IAT. Uh, I can't remember how many degrees at this point. I'll look back on the video and uh, give the report later. Talk to you later. Gadget Man Twin Cities. Bye.